Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. Wow, that looks great, Flippy. Yeah! Now all that's left to do is make the horn sound like a Bruntusus. Bruntusus. Brown. Let's sound it out. Bron. To. Soar. Us. Brontosaurus. Awesome. Stupendous. Perfection. Oh, wait. I don't think this book has a section on dinosaur sounds. Hmm. I wonder. Where can we find more books about dinosaurs? Oh, I know. Let's try the library. Great idea, Babble. Look. The Brontomobile <laughs> is ready for adventure. All right! Yeah, books! <laughs> Shh! Sorry. Whoa! Oh. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. Hi, I'm Katie the Caterpillar, here for any of your library needs. And I'm Babble. Oh my, oh my. A whole section of balloon animals. I love books so much. Hey, Katie, can you help us find the dinosaur books? Of course I can help. Wait for me. I want to come too. Ah! Whoa! Oh no. Whoa. Uh, uh, oh, Flippy. Whoa. Whoa. Can you help me carry these, please? Dinosaurs from A to Z. The biggest roar and more. My friend, the Triceratops. Hey, Babel, do you think I have too many books about dinosaurs? You could never have too many books. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent choices. Thanks for your help, Katie. And I got the answer to my question. Where can I find more books about dinosaurs? At the library. <laughs> yeah. Upload answer tabs. <laughs> Bye. 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 Yeah. <laughs> nice catch, Debo. Do you hear that? That's one cool beat. I can't stop moving. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, why does music make us want to dance? Hi, Blippi. Hi, Mika. Hey, Benjamin. That was some pretty sweet beatboxing you were doing. Yeah, it made me want to dance. Hey, Benjamin, do you know why music makes us want to move our bodies and dance? I sure do. Just shrink down to my size, and I'll show you. All right. Shrinking down. <laughs> awesome. Now we're ready to party. Yeah. Hit it, DJ D-Bops. <laughs> when we hear music, we enjoy the sound of it. This beat makes me want to move my feet. 
I love this song. And our bodies want to explain how the noise is being made. So we move in a way that matches the rhythm. On the beat. Ooh, a classical song. Love your moves, Blippi. Check out yours, Mika. <laughs> now we've got the same moves. Together. Woohoo! Hey, DJ D Bops, pick up that tempo! Blippi, I challenge you to a dance off. It's on. Dance on. Go, Blippi. Go, Blippi. Break it down, Mika. Woo-hoo. Hey. <laughs> Woo-hoo. Feel the groove. Woof, 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 woof. Having so much fun! This beat has a nice ring! It makes me wanna sing! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! I almost forgot one more thing about dancing. What is it? That it's super fun! Oh yeah! It's a blast! <laughs> Thanks for answering my question, Benjamin. Music makes us want to dance because our bodies want to match the beat. It's a great way to connect with friends and it's so much fun. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Who's ready for a dance off? Round two. <laughs> it's on, dance on. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> Are you ready, Mika? Yeah, Bliffy! Let's go! <laughs> Four, three, two, one! Do you wanna have some fun? Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey! Summer is here, let's go and play. I wonder what fun we'll have today. Let's play catch with a ball and glove. Summer is the season that I love. We can splash in the swimming pool. Come on, Blue, you can join in too. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, let's have some fun. Eating ice cream when the weather's hot. Please be careful or it will drop. The crew's eating popsicles, one for me, please. Oh no, watch out! Boom's got a brain freeze. I like two scoops on my ice cream cone for Debo too, instead of a phone. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, let's have some fun. Oh, hey there, Sun. Hey there, Blippi. When you're shining, it's so much fun. Hmm, I wonder, how do you shine so bright? Well, I'm actually a big ball of gas, which creates a lot of energy, both heat and light. Wow, 
Wow, that's so interesting. Okay, upload, answer Debo, and let's go. <laughs> Driving around in the blippy mobile, me and Debo behind the wheel. Fun in the sun, playing on our speakers. Wind in our hair and feeling the beat, yeah. Summer is my favorite time of year. The sun shines bright and the sky is clear. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. This is so much yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. We can dig the pool with hey, our hey, excavator. Hey. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey there, sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, it's been so fun. Bye bye Italy, what a cool country. Someone's got the tummy rumbles. I am feeling hungry. Great idea, Debo. Let's get an authentic Italian pizza. Ciao! Did someone say pizza? I'm Paola Parmigiano. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Mika and Debo. Hi, Paola. We'd love a slice of pizza. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, I have some bad news. I'm sold out. Oh, but I could help you make a fresh pizza of your own. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder, how do you make pizza? Come on in. All right. I'm gonna need the excavator arm and wings. Excavator arm, wings, confirmed. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! All right, let's get this pizza started. The first step is kneading the dough, huh? Kneading means to press and fold the dough like this. Ooh. Ooh, this strengthens its structure. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Wee! Wow! The next step is to stretch the dough until it's the proper pizza shape. Everyone, grab an edge. One, two, three! <laughs> Look out! The next step is to cover our stretched out dough in the sauce. All right. Woo! <laughs> the next step is to put on the cheese. Huh? The sauce is hot lava. Now, it's my favorite part. Choosing toppings that you love to make the best pizza ever. How about mushrooms? Olives coming through. <laughs> Our smiling pizza makes me smile. Me too. It's time for the last step. Are you ready, Bleepy? Ready, Paula. Time to bake the pizza. But you have to be very careful. The oven is hot. Careful. Careful. Yeah! Delicioso! Thanks for answering my question, Paula. Pizza is made by kneading and stretching the dough, adding sauce, cheese, and toppings, and then baking it all in the oven. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Ciao for now. Ciao, Paola. Grazie for the pizza. Bye bye Wow! Look at those birds. Oh! Wow! Look at all these animals we're finding. Maybe we'll find the king of the jungle next. Ah, that 
That's not the king of the jungle. King of the jungle? Wait, are, are you looking for a lion? Well, there's not really any lions in the jungle. You gotta go to the savanna for that. Out there. Hmm, I wonder. Why are lions called the king of the jungle? <laughs> Lion! Cool! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. Hello, Blippi and Tabs! I'm Jabari, the king of the jungle. I was just sharpening my kingly skills on the Lion Obstacle Course. The Lion Obstacle Course? That's so cool! Would you like to train with me? If you complete the course, I'll make you honorary lions! Yeah! <laughs> Our first lesson is here, where you will learn to sneak like a lion. Sneak like a lion. Got it. Shh. Not so loud, Blippi. You will scare off the prey. The prey? The prey is the butterfly. Oh, I get it. Sneaky. Ow! <laughs> Not bad for a first try. Yeah! Let's try the next lesson. Jumping! Crouch down and feel your energy. Then, when you are ready, release the energy and jump! Are you ready, Tabs? Jump like a lion! Yes! Great job! Now there's one more lesson. Hop on my back and hang on tight! Yay! Whoa. Welcome to the Roaring Arena! To roar like a lion, follow along. First, find your power. Lift up and roar! Way to go, Blippi and Tabs! You are now honorary lions. Thanks, Jabari. We had so much fun. And I got the answer to my question. Why are lions called the king of the jungle? Even though lions are called king of the jungle, they actually live on the savanna. Lions are sneaky hunters, big jumpers, and have really loud roars. Upload answer tabs. See you next time we're in the savannah, Jabari. Goodbye, Blippi and Tabs. Come back and roar with me anytime. <laughs> you can't catch me, Mika. Oh, yeah? Look out for my ultimate cartwheel. Here I come. Whoa, whoa, Watch out. Whoa. 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 A secret clearing. You're right, Tabs and Debo. This does look like a perfect spot for a playground. Hmm, I wonder, what would it be like to build the ultimate Blippi playground? Great question. Let's design it and build it. <laughs> All right. First, we need a big play structure. Maybe it can look like a rocket. That's a great idea, Mika. It's going to need lots of shade. Looking great, Debo and Tabs. Hmm. Next, we'll need a zip line. Whee! <laughs> oh, yeah! And a musical bridge. Yeah. Oh, wow! We definitely need a slide. All right. Whoa! Whee! Yeah! Uh-oh, Blippi! Looks like a storm is brewing! Five minutes until rain! Oh, no! We better hurry. How about a racetrack? Four minutes until rain! We definitely need a stage. Whoa! Whoa! 
three minutes until rain! We definitely need a splash pool. <laughs> Two minutes until rain! Ow! And we definitely need a, a ball pit! pit. Oh, wow! Yikes! One minute to rain! Take cover, everyone! Whoa! We did it! Yar! I'm Captain Blippy. Let's set sail for the open seas. Yar! Aye, aye, Captain! Whoa! 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 Land ho! Yeah! <laughs> Hmm, something is missing. That's it! <laughs> it's perfect! And I have the answer to my question. What's it like to build the ultimate Blippi playground? It's Blippi-tastic! Upload answer, Debo and Tabs. Awesome work, everyone! This calls for a celebration! Yeah! Okay, Babel. I spy with my little eye something that starts with J. Plenty of sea creatures start with J. Jackfish, jelly mouse fish, even jewelfish. Not now, Tabs. I'm looking for a jellyfish. Oh, it's jellyfish. <laughs> okay, Tabs. Your turn. I spy. Listen! She's trying to communicate with us. Hmm, I wonder. How do dolphins communicate? Follow! Pursue! Chase! Here we come, little dolphin. Ooh. Whoa! It's so murky. It's murky and hard to see because of all the sand floating in the water. Whoa! Look out! Whoa! Uh-oh! <laughs> hey there, Blippi. Oh, hey, Larry. This is Babble and Tabs. Sorry we bonked into you. That's all right. It's all this sand floating around. Well, I'm off to get my teeth cleaned. <laughs> see you later. Bye-bye! How can the dolphins see in this murky water? Think, think, think. Oh, I know. The dolphin is using echolocation. Echo what? Echolocation. It's how some animals like dolphins and bats see objects by reflecting sound off them. Oh, yeah. I'm going to need echolocation. Echolocation confirmed. Try making clicks like the dolphin. Look! The sound waves from the clicks are bouncing off the objects and coming back to us with information about how far and how big the objects are. Hey! There's the dolphin! We found her! Wait! Come back! I didn't get to say hello! That's it! The dolphin is using a signature whistle to tell you her name. Try mimicking her signature whistle to call her back. All right. She understood me. Hey. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs and Babel. I think she wants to know your signature whistle so she can say your name in her language. Hmm, how about... Wow! What an amazing underwater adventure! And I got the answer to my question. How do dolphins communicate? Dolphins communicate with their signature whistles and chirps. And they can also use clicks to navigate and tell what's ahead. Upload answer tabs. Yes, precisely correct. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs>
Why do people burp? Oh, ho, ho. I can tell you, but it's more fun to show you! Off to the nearest mouth! All right, I'm gonna need frog legs. Frog legs confirmed. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! <laughs> Well, that was fun. Debo, you can open your eyes now. I think it's over. Here we go again! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! I'm gonna need monkey arms. Monkey arms confirmed. Whoa! 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 What's that? It's called the esophagus. We all have them! It's a long tube that connects the throat to the stomach! Woo! Esophagus! That's a fun word! E-so-f-a-gus! <coughs> Whoa! He's coughing up a storm! <laughs> oh yeah! These are ideal conditions for a big old burp! Whoa! So cool! Careful! The bubble's delicate and can explode at any moment! <laughs> yes! Get it! Get it, Ball! Whee! <laughs> oh, yeah! The bubble is all the extra air that this guy swallowed! It's like a trampoline! Whoa! The air bubble is rising up the esophagus and toward the mouth. <laughs> Whoa! Excuse me. Oh, yeah! Experiment complete! <laughs> that was so fun! And I got the answer to my question. Why do people burp? People burp when they swallow too much air and it builds up inside the esophagus. The body gets rid of the air by burping. <coughs> Upload answer, Debo. I think it's time to dance! Boom cha cha, boom cha cha, boom! Let's boom cha cha with boom! Boom cha cha, boom cha cha, boom! Race you to the ball pit! Okay, Blippi! Huddle ball! <laughs> Whoa! Silly somersaults! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was totally awesome, Debo! <laughs> I love puppies! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo and Blue. What's your name? Lily! What a cute name! Great idea, Lily! <laughs> Blippi, Lily wants you to throw the ball for us. Okay, Lily and Blue, are you ready? Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Go fetch! <laughs> Look at how fast Lily's tail is wagging. Hmm, I wonder, why do dogs wag their tails? <laughs> Uh-oh, I think Debo's broken. <sighs> Lily's 
probably scared. Debo, try giving her a treat. Now hold out your paw so she can sniff you and know you're a friend. Yeah, Lily! All better. Do you want me to throw the ball again? She's so excited! Ready, go, fetch! Oh, she's so happy! Too hard, Blue! Oh no, is Debo okay? <laughs> Debo, you're all better! Hugs? <laughs> Not so hard, Blue. Good girl, Lily. Good girl. She's so cute. Hugs? Be gentle, Blue. Oh, yes, right. Hey, look at how fast her tail is wagging. Yeah, dogs wag their tails as a way of showing emotion, like fear or, or excitement. <laughs> Just like my antennas glow different colors for all my different feelings. I got the answer to my question. Why do dogs wag their tails? Dogs wag their tails to show emotions like fear or excitement. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl, Lily. Good girl. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, time for bed. Aw, but we're having so much fun. Hmm, I wonder, why do we have to sleep? It's me, Blippi, and this is Benjamin and Debo. Well, hello there. Are we all ready for a bedtime story? Not yet. We need to go through my bedtime checklist first. Pajamas? Yeah! Check. Brush teeth? <laughs> Check. Okay, Mr. Book, we're ready. Ooh. Our slumber saga begins with two familiar friends looking for fun and adventure. Ribbit! That sounds like Debo! Oh no! It is Debo! We gotta save him! Blippi and Benjamin to the rescue! Whoa. Our heroes could not begin their adventure without a good night's sleep. <sighs> Maybe we should rest first. <sighs> good idea, Blippi. They soon found that sleep gave them the energy to scale any obstacle, however mighty. Wow! I feel great! Look out, mountain! Here we come! They danced. <laughs> and they leapt. Until they reached the top of the mountain. Hmm. We're coming, Debo! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Whoa! whoa. Ah. Ooh, that was a close one. <sighs> Maybe if we push the boulder in the hole, we can walk across it. But the energizing effects of sleep were starting to wear off. <laughs> it's no use. Maybe we should rest. Our daring duo woke up with rested minds and strengthened bodies. I feel stronger. Look, we grew bigger too. <laughs> All right. But there was one more obstacle for our duo to tackle. Hi, Bella. Would you mind moving so Debo can get down? I don't want to move. I'm grumpy. I think Bella needs a nap. Let's all take a nap. OK, fine. I feel great. Me too. That nap made me happy. Woohoo! Time to hula hoop! 
That day, Blippi and his friends learned that sleep is the secret ingredient to happiness. <laughs> wow! That was awesome! And I got the answer to my question. <gasps> Why do we have to go to sleep? Because it gives you energy, makes you big and strong, and makes you happy too. Upload answer, Debo. Good night, Blippi, Debo, and Benjamin. Sleep tight. I don't think your guitar is working right, Debo. Hmm, I wonder, how does a guitar work? You're right, Debo. Let's go find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Sounded great! I love it! Thank you! <laughs> hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. I'm picky! We were wondering how a guitar works. Can you show us? I can, but I can't work the guitar by myself. I'll need your help to play it right! Okay. When I pick a string, it goes back and forth really fast, which makes a note. Whoa. Whoa. You're right, Debo. My string is much thicker than yours. I bet it's harder to balance for you. The faster the string goes back and forth, the higher the note. <laughs> How do you make other notes on a guitar? That's why I needed your help. Hey, Debo, could you move towards the far end of the neck, mate? <gasps> now back towards me. <laughs> Solo! <laughs> well, that explains how different notes are made. Why does the guitar have such a big body? That's the part that makes it loud! Thank you! Hey, come stand over here on the soundboard! We're going up and down, too! When I pluck the string, the whole guitar body vibrates, and the sound hole there makes it super loud! Like, a, oh, like shouting while cupping your hands over your mouth! <laughs> Hello! Wow! That was loud! Right! Practice is over! Time to jam! One, two, three, four! Thank, Thank you! <laughs> and now I have the answer to my question. How does a guitar work? Guitars work because the strings vibrate and make sound, which is made louder by causing the whole hollow guitar body to vibrate. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> bye bye, Picky. Bye, Blippi. Bye, Debo. Remember to always keep rocking. Last one to splash has to take out the trash. <laughs> Wait! Worms! Whoa! 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 <laughs> hmm, I wonder, why do worms come out in the rain? I'm gonna need pontoons and the excavator arm. Pontoon, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! La 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 la! Ooh, what's that? La 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 la! 
Oh, hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Wave the Worm, and I la 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 love singing. Everybody join in. La la la. <sighs> I wish I could find another worm I could sing with. Well, I'd ask you, but you're not worms. But hey, enough about me. What can I do for you? We were wondering why worms come up from underground when it rains. There are three reasons. Follow me, 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 me. Worm dive. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> yeah! It sounds like something's digging down. It's getting closer. Don't worry. That's just the raindrops hitting the ground above and sending vibrations down. But to us worms, it sounds like a predator trying to dig down and get us. So that's one reason we go topside. Whoa! What? We better get out of here! Wave? Hello? La 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 You're right, Debo. That does look like fun. Reason number two. When it rains, we worms can move around on the ground much faster. That's right, Debo. Wave did say there are three reasons why worms come out in the rain. What's the third reason, Wave? Third reason? Um. La, 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 la. Oh, that's right. Number three, to find a friend. I love the rain. I love the rain too. We love the rain. Wave, you found a friend who loves to sing just like you. And now I have the answer to my question. Why do worms come out in the rain? Worms come out in the rain because the raindrop vibrations sound like predators. They can travel more quickly when it's wet and to find a special friend. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi. Goodbye, Debo. La 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 la. <laughs> bye bye, Wave. Thanks for all your help. <laughs> Whoa, a giant construction site. Let's go check it out. Hard hat area. Hmm, I wonder, why do construction workers need to wear hard hats? <laughs> hey, I'm driving here. Whoa, hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We were wondering, why do construction workers wear hard hats? Oh, well, hello there, Blippi and Debo. <laughs> My name is Christopher. Christopher Crane, how you doing? Uh-oh, here, put these on. You'll need them. Okay. <laughs> Come with me. I need to bring these beams to the other side of the site. I can teach you about hard hats on the way. Here, here. Construction sites are very dangerous, and a hard hat helps protect your head from many risks. Like, you know, swinging steel beams. <laughs> Whoa, watch out! Whoa, that was a close one. <laughs> That's why we gotta be careful, you know? Kareem, how you doing? That's my buddy Kareem, he's a good guy, very tall. Come on. Hi, Kareem. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Debo, look out for those pipes. It's a good thing you're wearing your hard hat, Debo. Hard hats are great at protecting your head against bumps, you know? Still got a ways to go. Hop on. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Look at all those construction workers all the way up there. Oh. Sounds like lunch to me. But remember, there are dangers all over a construction site. You gotta be careful when walking below workers because you never know when something might... Debo! Oh. Fall. All right, stop goofing around. We got a job to do. Let's go. Uh-oh. 
Thanks, Christopher. All right, let's get this job started. Uh -uh. Yeah. <laughs> This is the hard part. <laughs> Gotta line it up just so. Whoa! Watch out! Oh no! Okay? <laughs> hey, look! You helped install the last beam! Yeah! And I got the answer to my question. <laughs> Construction workers wear hard hats to protect their head from bumps and falling objects. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> hey, I got another job to do. Thanks for your help, Flippy. I'll see you later. Bye, Christopher. <laughs> Ready, Debo? <laughs> Three, two, one! Yeah, it's not quite what I envisioned. I wish I could make a few changes. <gasps> oh, yeah! I can use an eraser! Hmm, I wonder, how does an eraser work? <laughs> Great idea, Debo! We'll shrink down and get a closer look. I'm gonna need a grabber arm and helicopter blades. Grabber arm, helicopter blades, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Even up close, it sure does need some changes. Maybe I can help. Huh? I am the amazing Ernie. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Debo. We're here to learn how an eraser works. Well, you came to the right eraser because I can make anything disappear. Even pencil markings. That's amazing. Come see, it's the best show in town. The tip of a pencil is made of graphite, and when you rub it on paper, it leaves a mark. Cool. Uh -huh. Let's take a closer look through a magnifying glass. Graphite gets left behind on the paper because it actually sticks to the paper. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no. Huh? I got it. Phew. That was close. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hey, Ernie, can you erase this graphite mark? Oh, what a great idea. I will make that mark disappear by erasing it. When an eraser like me rubs against the paper, it creates friction and heat. Awesome! The heat makes the eraser stickier than the paper, so the graphite comes loose from the paper and sticks to the eraser instead. Friction also causes the eraser to disintegrate or fall apart. See the small bits coming off? <laughs> You've got a few on you. Oh, they're cute. Wrap the eraser on the paper enough, and boy, oh boy, the graphite comes off. Ta-da! My disappearing act. Oh, that's amazing. Was it magic? No, it's science. Cool. And I got the answer to my question. How does an eraser work? Erasers work by using friction to make them stickier than paper. So the graphite on the paper clings to the eraser. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for the magic show, Ernie. Now it's time for us to disappear. Goodbye, Blippi. It was magic to meet you. Whoa. One's blue! 
That one is red, Tabs. Oh, and that one is green. Hmm, I wonder, why are fireworks different colors? Great idea, Tabs. Let's go investigate. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and a grabber arm. Helicopter blades, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Never get too close to fireworks. Be safe. Give them some space. Okay. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tax. We were just wondering how fireworks get their colors. Hi, I'm Penny. I'll spin you a tale all about it. Whee! First, you have to know that fireworks are little rockets filled with black powder, which burns fast and the fireworks as high as the air. Whoa, that's pretty high. Good idea, Tabs. Let's get a better look at the fireworks in the sky. Will you join me in the Blippi Mobile, Penny? Sure. Whoa, great. Even in the air. Remember to stay safe and give them space. So colorful. Packed into the top of the firework are metal salts called stars. Just like different foods have different flavors when you eat them, different metal salts burn different colors when you ignite them. Watch out! Here comes another one, Tabs! Are you okay? I told you, stay safe and give them space. We should get down to the ground or we'll all miss the big ending. You're right, let's go. <gasps> Here it comes, the grand finale. What an amazing show! And now I have the answer to my question. Why are fireworks different colors? Fireworks are different colors because of the different metal salts they burn. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Penny. Bye, Flippy. Always stay colorful. Rawr, rawr. You're right, Debo. It would be fun to have a dinosaur as a pet. Hmm, I wonder, would a dinosaur make a good pet? Good thinking. We'll go back in time to find out. I'm gonna need the grabber arm and monster truck wheels. Grabber arm, monster truck wheels, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Mobile is ready for adventure. That's right, we're in the Cretaceous period. Millions of years ago, when the Earth was filled with dinosaurs! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hi there, Blippi! I'm Tina, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hi, Tina. We were wondering, would a dinosaur make a good pet? An animal that you love and care for. Wow, being a pet sounds amazing. Maybe I could be your pet for the day. Can you drop Debo, please? Debo's made of metal, and we don't want you to break a tooth. Good, Dino. We sure do have sharp teeth. I use mine to eat. 
Whoa! Do you eat a lot? Feeding is an important part of having a pet. I can bite off 500 pounds of food in one jump. That's a lot more than I have here. Hmm. Let's try a trick. Great idea, Debo. Go fetch, Tina. <laughs> Sometimes I forget my size. Us T-Rexes can be as tall as 12 feet high and up to 40 feet long. Wow, that's so big. Hey, let's go for a walk, Tina. Whoa, look at all of those teeth. Tells me that's not how a walk is supposed to go. We gave it a try, but I'm not sure if dinosaurs are meant to be pets. I think you're right. We're meant to rule the jungle. Yep, and you helped find the answer to my question. Would a dinosaur make a good pet? Dinosaurs are big, have lots of teeth, need room to roam, and eat a lot. So they might not be good pets, but it's still fun to imagine. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, Tina. Bye. Come back in time. Edit time. Whoa! Ah, uh, more junk. Oh, oh, look, a shark's tooth. Whoa, Debo, there sure are a lot. Hmm, I wonder, how many teeth does a shark have? Great idea, Debo. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'm gonna need duck feet, a grabber arm, and a propeller. Duck feet, grabber arm, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Whoa! Oh! Hi there! I'm Dr. Paula the Pilot Fish. I'm a shark dentist. Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is Debo. <laughs> We're here to learn how many teeth a shark has. Well, you swam it to the right corner of the ocean. I'm about to visit my friend and patient, Larry. Hello. I think I have a loose tooth. We'll find out. We pilot fish help keep the shark's mouth clean in exchange for protection from fish who might chase us. Wow! What a great friendship. Whoop. Whoa! <laughs> Someone called the Tooth Fairy. Let's take a look. Open wide, Larry. <laughs> ah, nothing to worry about. Come on in. The water's fine. As you can see, there's not just one row of teeth. There's row after row after row. <laughs> Go ahead and close now, buddy. Uh, maybe keep your mouth open just a little bit, Larry. Whoa, another tooth on the loose. That's why Larry's got all these rows of teeth. They're waiting in line for when the front teeth fall out whoop, and need to be replaced. Happens all the time. That's kind of like us humans when we're kids. Let's count. One, two, three, 56, 57, 58. I sure wish sharks could floss. 213! Oh, that sure is a lot of teeth to take care of. You're right. There can be as many as 300 teeth in a shark's mouth at any given time. And get this, through his whole life, Larry here can grow and lose as many as 50,000 teeth. That's a huge number. <laughs> All done, Larry. Woohoo! <laughs> Bless you! And I got the answer to my question. 
How many teeth does a shark have? Sharks have several rows of teeth, can have as many as 300 teeth at one time, and 50,000 over the course of their lives! Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for teaching us all about teeth, Dr. Paula. Bye, Blippi. Don't forget the floss.